Hi, my name is Eric Rowland, and my family and I have been part of the St. Michael Parish community for the last five and a half years. As I think about the question of how do I experience God in my everyday life, what surfaces for me is relationships. I'm a husband, a father, a son, a colleague, a neighbor, etc. And like you, I imagine, there are any number of connections and relationships in our lives. These are meaningful to me, they're poignant to me, they remind me that I am more than just myself. I'm part of a broader human family, and I'm part of God's family. And these connections and links to others play out as well in the form of encounter. Encounter with others, with all others. I can't help but think of the kindness of strangers, whether at the grocery store or if I'm out for a run, or traveling somewhere in the world and I'm lost. These encounters provide a meaningful challenge to me to experience God in all people by loving and welcoming them. And it is a challenge for me to keep that perspective at all times, but it is a worthwhile one. I feel blessed to say that relationship and community have been at the center of my St. Michael parish experience and many other parish experiences as well, uh, and in particular around the small group experience that has been part of my life at St. Michael's and uh, other churches as well. Through connection with others, through community, there have been opportunities to pray, to have moments of quiet, and to reflect on the ways in which God moves through me and in me and also to notice the various ways that God's grace is present in my life. And I know that these are things that I would not have otherwise caught on my own. And so I'm, I feel grateful for the opportunity with others to notice those things. And I've also come to recognize that not every day, not every moment of prayer will be filled with joy. But at the very least, through the experience of others and through the model of others, I've been inspired to remain engaged in my faith and to turn to God. I thank you for listening. I wish you and yours the very best during this challenging time. Thank you.